When working with Markdown in VS Code, you can use the rename command on a header to update the header itself along with all links to that header in the current workspace. You can see that here in this Markdown file, I have a header called installation down here. And then if we look above, you have a link to that header. So just using a standard Markdown link syntax with a fragment link down here that is going to that header. Now, if I wanted to change this header, I could just go and start typing here, but then I would have gone and broken the link up here. Instead, I can go and I'll use the rename command. So I'm going to place my cursor on this line and I'm going to press F2 to start a rename. So I'm just triggering rename here. And now I can enter a new name. So I'll say, instead of installation, I'll say how to install. And you can see that VS Code has both updated the header with the new text that I entered, but then also updated all links to that header in this file. Now, if we look over at the source control view, we can see that it's not just restricted to this file. It's actually updated all links to that header across the entire workspace. So here is the file that we're working with before. So remote SSH, and you can see that it was linking to installation before. Now we've gone and updated that link to, say, you know, to go to the new header that we entered, which is how to install instead. And this has been updated again across our entire workspace. Now you can trigger the rename on the header itself, but you can also trigger it on one of these links. So if I go to the link here, and let's say that I want to actually rename the header from this location, I can place my cursor on the fragment section of the link. So how to install in this case, I'll press F2 to start a rename. I'll enter the new name of the header that I want. So I'll say how to install SSH, for example. And now again, it's gone and updated all the links across the entire workspace. If we go back to the original file, you can also see that we've updated the header just by triggering the uh, rename on the link itself. Using rename to update headers in Markdown ensures that you don't accidentally create broken links.